Hey everyone, welcome back to Miniature Painting 101, a series of videos where I teach you all about painting miniatures from start to finish, everything in between, and as much as I can possibly think of. And this is part 37, wood grain on small objects. I recently got an email from a Warp subscriber asking me to do wood grain on a small object like a gun which is a very uh, challenging topic because it's such a small object and the patterns you see on the larger objects, objects such as shields don't necessarily apply to small objects. Basically the key is very thin down paints, a uh, consistent grain direction, and uh, blending your grains and then applying a, uh, a shade. So as you can see I start off more than brown, a great reddish brown color which is very good for looking like wood and I thinned it down because I said thin down consistency and I applied it to the gun handle of this Siege Brisbane's uh, gun because once again I can it, it, it can be a wood consistency for this particular part and as I mentioned the key is very 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 I mean very thin brush strokes uh, the ones I'm doing in this tutorial even might be too thick as well uh, very thin so the thinnest brush or the thinnest tip you can use the better the more the thinner the strokes the the better that the grain will look. But once that's done, it's time to uh, start applying our grains to it. And the key is just blending multiple different colors in the same consistent in the same consistent stroke pattern. So I began with a two to one mix of Mornfang Brown to Abaddon Black. So I just thin. So I basically just darkened the Mornfang Brown. And you can see I'm just starting to paint some. I decided my direction would be almost vertical and I started painting some beginning uh, grain lines onto it. I am try to paint it once again as thin as I possibly can uh, and if it's too thick what you essentially can do is you just go back with the previous color so more in paint brown and you can thin down the lines afterwards which is what I'm doing here just to show you so I took the more in paint brown after laying down the first line of grain and I just thin them down slightly and by using thin layers and overlapping them slightly what you do is you don't completely erase the previous line you just almost erase it and all this multiplied out several times ends up looking very similar to a wood grain pattern so the next I, what I did was I added more black into the mixture to darken even more and I created even more lines where the previous lines weren't and I tried to once again keep them as thin as I can and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to thin down them slightly once again with the previous color, uh, with more than brown. And after that was done, as you can see now the lines are a bit thinner, I did, went with even lighter colors. So what I did was I did a two to one mix of more than brown to Screaming Skull. As I said, I'm going to use more than brown as my, as my foundation for most of these colors. That way it's, it's very consistent with the wood grain. And then once again I just continue the pattern of wood grain. And usually with larger objects you can do a different pattern of grain, you can do more swirly types, but on such a small object like this gun handle, remember this is zoomed in very many times, it's very difficult to convey the swirliness and not make it just look a little silly. So I'm just going to try to do a more straighter pattern. You can try to do more bent or wavy patterns if you want, you just need very small thin brush strokes to do it. And there we go, so now I'm going to continue with that pattern. And now it's looking much more like a wood grain. It's, if you see much more carefully it actually has a lot of vertical lines to it and a lot more grainy appearance. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a filter to this by doing a oil wash. So first I started off by applying a satin varnish to the the, uh, the wood. That way it does dull the appearance, makes it more look like a dull wood. And then what we're going to do is we're going to apply a filter by doing an oil wash. So now it looks a little bit more dull and has that, as I said, that wood grainy appearance to it. And then now we're going to use burnt umber, which is my favorite, um, the Weston paints, Windsor Newton, or was it Winston? Western paints and I'm gonna apply just a little, put a little bit in my palette and if you for a full tutorial on oil paints check out my oil paint my oil wash um, miniature paint 101 but I added a little bit of mineral spirits to it and of course gave it a very nice uh, a very nice stir with my brush to make sure that it's a nice consistency similar to that of a wash or a shade depending on which company you use Got a nice consistency, made sure all that paint was dissolved in the mineral spirits. And then applied it to my gun. And basically what you do is you let it dry for a, slight, a little while, and once you see that the alcohol, or sorry, the alcohol, the mineral spirits has dissipated, 
you simply just uh, take a, a cloth, wrap it around your finger, and then just quickly dab off the excess paint from the surface. And this burnt umber really gives that umber tinge to it, and applying that filter just does a really nice job and then makes it look a little bit more woody. So as you see, I'm just rubbing off the excess with just a towel. So this is so zoomed in that it, it's just, uh, there you go. And now it is completely done. We've applied our wood grain, and I think it just it turns out really nice for the amount of time you spent on it and uh, for the smallness of it. And I will cover a wood grain on larger surface in a future miniature painting 101 because uh, you can apply more different patterns and make it look more interesting. But I think it ends up looking very woody, especially you can see the side here. It definitely has some wood grain texture to it, and uh, it turned out pretty nicely. So thank you very much for watching this episode of Miniature Painting 101. I really hope you enjoyed it. And of course, stay tuned for next week's episode, part 38, which is just around the corner next Monday as always. But if you can't wait for next Monday's episode, go check out The Warp. Click on the link for a free 14-day trial to my premium YouTube channel, where not only will you get to see the next six months worth of Miniature Painting 101 episodes, you'll also get to see dozens of start-to-finish painting tutorials, battle reports, and just some awesome more gaming content. So go ahead and check out The Warp. I think you'll really like it. So once again, thank you very much for watching this episode. Go check out The Warp if you want. Until next time, this is Jay saying, happy painting, everyone.